How's it going? Davis James down here in the Anglers All Studio. Today we're going to tie up the Duracell. Great pattern. Throw it under a dropper, nymph it. The CDC gives it tons of movement. Uh, the color just really sticks out. It's a great fly. Let's get to it. All right, so here we go, the Duracell. I've got a Hanak 400BL in there. This is a size 12, a little bit larger, so you can see it well. I would normally tie this in a size 14. Uh, I've got a Camel dot Uni thread here. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a thread dam behind the bead. Trying to keep that bead in position. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay a thread base going backwards. Being careful not to nick my thread. And I'm going to go right to the bend in the hook here. Next step, we're going to take a CDL feather. I'm going to go ahead and preen back and remove the little soft fluffy feathers in the back. All right. Now I've got a few nice fibers right here. I'm just going to grab them and rip them off. I'm going to exchange hands. My left hand, okay, I'm gonna hold them by their tips at an angle and tie them in. A couple turns, I can make adjustments for length. I'm gonna try and go about the length of the shank of the hook, and then I'm gonna make turns moving forward to secure the material. Next is going to be my brassy size copper wire in red. Use the wire to kind of hold the bead back. I'm going to tie it in on my side of the hook. Going all the way back. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. Next step, I'm going to grab some UV dub in brown. I'm going to go ahead and wax my thread. I'm going to start building up a nice little, nice little noodle here. This noodle doesn't have to be super duper tight, but you don't want it to be clumpy. So if it is, you can kind of stretch and move those clumpy areas around a little bit. Greg Garcia once told me a little bit of dubbing on a lot of thread. And so ever since then, that's how I've done it. Right, so we're gonna make touching turns to build a nice carrot shaped body. Checking every so often that it's on there nice and tight. Grab one more little clump. This doesn't have to be perfect. The wire will kind of help mush it down and keep it in a nice uniform shape. I'm going to leave a little gap behind the bead uh, for the CDC. So and I'm going to take my wire, making turns evenly spaced going forwards over my brown ice dub. About five, six wraps ought to do it. Use my thread to secure my wire. Alternating on both sides of the wire to ensure it's in there nice and tight. Use my razor scissors. I probably should have had a general purpose pair of scissors laying around for this video to cut my wire. I'll be sure I mush down that ETC nicely. All right, now we're gonna take our CDC. First, we're gonna make a little loop. I like to go around the thread a couple times to make sure we make a nice little tight V We'll grab the material as well. I've got my uh, dubbing spinner here. 
add just a little bit of dubbing wax to the thread. All right, now I'm going to take my pre-staged CDC feather. All right, so you've selected a CDC feather here. You can see it kind of curves one direction. It kind of curves down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to preen the feathers back a little bit. I'm going to loosen them up. Take my feather with the stem, the thick stem side, and I've got a little groove here in this uh, little piece of foam. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the feather down in this groove. And if I have to, I can use my scissors just to kind of ensure that it's in there nice and tight. Make sure the feathers are nice and fluffed up. All right, we got a piece of CDC in there. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to use this here in a second. I'm going to cut the little stem off. Okay, now I'm going to reach in with my clamp, grab my CDC feather, spread my foam so I can pull it away. I can make a little bit of an adjustment here, nothing crazy. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to trim out that stem as close as I can to the stem. I'm going to take my CDC, I'm going to drop it into my little loop here and let go of the clamp and the material is in there nicely and I'm going to go ahead and spin my dubbing spinner. Two spins is about all you need. I'm going to take my brush and just kind of comb out any of the trapped fibers. The CDC is from Swiss CDC. It's pretty consistent, good stuff. We've got it in quite a few colors. Now I'm going to do I'm going to preen these fibers back, take my thread, just do a little half hitch behind the bead. Now I'm going to take my rotary function and go ahead and twist up this CDC. We're really only going for about two and a half, maybe three turns. We don't want this to be too bushy. We'll go one more. Kind of preening it back as much as we can. All right, now we're going to take our thread, capture this. careful not to trim out our thread. Pull that CDC back. We've got a lot of extra long fibers and we'll deal with that here in a second. Next we're just going to take a little bit of ice dub. I mean a little bit. We're going to make a little thread we're going to make a little collar, just kind of hold that CDC down, keep it from going all over the place. Probably only going to get, really only need about one and a half turns. I like to peel off any extra there so I don't make it too clumpy. And we're just going to whip finish. This fly right here has caught a ton of trout for me on the Colorado, on the blue, on the plat. This thing works everywhere. Works great as a dropper. Just a real buggy pattern. That UV really shines through the brown. Almost makes this fly look purple sitting in the bins. 
I'm just going to trim off my extra thread. We're about done. I'm going to grab the CDC and just break off simply any of the pieces that may be a little bit too long. Uh, but they're going to have a lot of natural movement. I don't want to remove all the long ones. I kind of want them to be varied. Brush it out a little bit. And that right there is the Duracell. That is a phenomenal fly. It works all over the place. Uh, we've got them in the bins here at Anglers All. Drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you want to learn, what flies you want to tie, and we'll put together a step-by-step -step video for you. Thanks for watching.